Well, here we are. Ouija, origin of evil. And before you even ask, no, I did not see the first one. I had no interest in seeing the first one. I had no interest in seeing this one. I saw the trailers for the first one when it came out and it looked horrible. I saw the trailers for this movie when it just came out and it looked horrible. But little did I know that this movie was directed by Mike Flanagan, who also directed Oculus and Hush, two very well-made, underrated horror movies. But could he actually make a decent movie out of a story whose centerpiece is based around a board game? Well, yes, actually. The movie is set in the 60s and we're introduced to a family of females. There's the mother, played by Elizabeth Reeser, the older daughter, played by Annalise Basso, and the young daughter, played by Lulu Wilson. I love that name. Don't ever change it. The husband slash father is deceased, and the ladies are kind of, sort of, having a tough go of things. So we also see how the family scams people by making them think that they can connect with deceased loved ones. And I say scams, but it's kind of... Up for interpretation, the mother explains in the movie how she thinks that they're actually performing a good service, giving people a chance to say goodbye, they're allowing them to connect with people that they've lost, and it gives them a chance to let go. So scams? They scam people? One day the mother brings home a Ouija board to help with her job, kind of spice things up. Now the game has rules that you're supposed to follow, and almost immediately she breaks those rules. And it's the young daughter who has to suffer, and the movie changes gears. It goes from family drama to a possession film, and it just gets creepier by the minute. This movie does have a lot going in its favor. Mike Flanagan does a good job of keeping us invested in these characters. We do feel for them and their struggles. He also does a good job of not relying on jump scares. Yes, this movie does have jump scares. But the creepier parts of the film are the things that are either right on screen and in your face or those moments where you just catch a glimpse of something. It might be like off on one side of the screen, maybe just out of frame, or it's there one second and it's gone the next. And the tone throughout the film keeps you on edge and just keeps you waiting for that next moment of terror. And everybody in this movie does a pretty good job, especially young Lulu. In my opinion, She's quite possibly the scariest child to ever appear in a film, and I mean that. Move over, Damien. You're done. You're not needed here anymore. And just as a little interesting tidbit, this movie has an old-school projector feel to it. There are these little tiny dots that appear in the upper right-hand corner when it's time to change the reel. I guess they did that to be consistent with the 60s, and it's a pretty nice little trick. Now, this movie isn't... Perfect. I did have a couple of problems, and maybe it's kind of nitpicky, but I'm going to go ahead and mention them anyway. The first thing is, I wouldn't spend too much time thinking about this movie when you watch it. Some of the things don't quite add up, and that's just for me, and also just for me, is the fact that I felt like maybe there was too much thrown at you at the end of the film. And the reason why I say that is because the movie does a really good job setting up the scares and kind of taking its time, you know, not just throwing a bunch of scares at you like every other minute, but neatly placing them and timing them throughout the film. It sets up the story, sets up the characters, and you just go along with it, and every now and then something will happen and you get creeped out. But in the last 10 to 15 minutes, it's almost overwhelming, and it kind of loses its effectiveness, and you're not quite as scary because everything is right there in front of you coming at you. And it just, it didn't quite work for me. That's not to take away from the film, though. What the film is aiming for is to scare you and get under your skin, and it definitely does that, and it does it very well. And so for that, I'm going to go ahead and give it a B plus. And I do recommend it. I, I almost can't believe I'm saying that. I had no intention of seeing this film as of a week ago. Didn't want to see it, didn't want anything to do with it. I heard all the negativity surrounding the first film and was I was good with staying away from this one. 
didn't want to see it at all. Totally caught me by surprise and shocked me, and yeah, it's, it's pretty darn good. And it's actually been a pretty good year for horror movies. And of course, if you've already seen the film, go ahead and let me know what you thought down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more movie reviews, hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, guys, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you guys next time.